subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. A dangerous bird that was domesticated thousands of years ago and a new type of glass inspired from seashells. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifics. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifics, I talk about some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have found evidence which shows that early humans in New Guinea domesticated cassowary, which are notorious for being able to cause fatal injuries to humans if provoked. Cassowaries today are often labelled the world's most dangerous bird. Although they mainly feed on fruits, if provoked, they are capable of disemboweling a human being. But about 18,000 years ago, humans may have collected cassowary eggs near maturity and then raised the birds to adulthood, just like modern-day humans raise chickens. But young cassowary chicks imprint readily to humans. Imprinting occurs when a newly hatched bird decides that the first thing it sees is its mother. If in that first glance it happens to catch sight of a human, the bird will follow the human anywhere. For the study, researchers looked at ancient eggshell remains and used a new method to determine how old a chick embryo was when an egg was harvested. In other news from the field of paleontology, scientists have discovered bones that belong to two new species of dinosaurs closely related to the giant Spinosaurus that hunted prey on both land and in the water. The discovery of the bones were led by paleontologists at the University of Southampton. Over several years, the team found two skulls and a large portion of a tail. In all, over 50 bones from the site have been uncovered from the rocks that form the part of the Wessex Formation laid down over 125 million years ago during what is now known as the Early Cretaceous Period. The first specimen has been named Ceratosachops inferodios, which translates as horned crocodile faced hell heron. With a series of low horns and bumps ornamenting the brow region, the name also refers to the predator's likely hunting style. The second was named Reparo Veneta Milinere. This translates as Milner's Riverbank Hunter in honour of a British paleontologist, Angela Milner, who recently passed away. Meanwhile, scientists have found that warming ocean as a result of the ongoing climate crisis has caused a drop in the brightness of the Earth. Using decades of measurements of the earth shine, that is light reflected from earth that illuminates the surface of the moon, as well as satellite measurements, researchers found a significant drop in earth's reflectance over the past two decades. The earth is now reflecting about half a watt less light per square meter than it was 20 years ago. That's the equivalent of 0.5% decrease in the Earth's reflectance or albedo. Earth reflects about 30% of the sunlight that shines on it. The researchers note that the dimming trend became more pronounced in the last three years. The changes in the Earth's reflectiveness can also be an indicator of how much more solar energy is being captured by the Earth's climate. Once this significant additional solar energy is in the Earth's atmosphere and oceans, it may further contribute to global warming. Meanwhile, researchers have found that a nitrogen-fixing bacteria can help enhance plant growth on Martian soil, paving the way for farming in future Martian colonies. For the study, the researchers grew clover plants grown in a mass-like soil in the lab. The soil on Mars lacks some essential plant nutrients, including certain nitrogen-containing molecules that plants require to live. Farming on Mars will require strategies to increase the amount of nitrogen compounds in the soil. On Earth, bacteria in soil help convert or fix atmospheric nitrogen into the molecules that the plants need. The researchers grew clover in lab-made soil that closely matches that of Mars. They added a microbe called Cyanorhizobium melilloti, which is found commonly in clover root nodules on Earth. The researchers found that the clover experienced 
75% more root and shoot growth when the bacteria was added to the soil. Meanwhile, scientists from McGill University have developed stronger and tougher glass inspired by the inner layer of mollusk shells. Instead of shattering upon impact, the new material has the resiliency of plastic and could be used to improve cell phone screens in the future. The new material is three times stronger than the normal glass, but also more than five times more fracture resistant, according to the researchers. The scientists took the architecture of the mother of pearl and replicated it with layers of glass flakes and acrylic, yielding an exceptionally strong yet opaque material that can be produced easily and inexpensively. They then made the composite optically transparent. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.